A new environmental lawsuit has popped up in an attempt to stop the administration from selling off more of Gulf of Mexico for oil drilling. Okay. All right. So here we are. We live on the Gulf of Mexico in Pensacola, Florida. We've, we've seen what happens with BP. We have an entire ecosystem absolutely devastated that really hasn't recovered. You know, we, the best that we want to put a spin on it, it's recovered. Our tourism is an all time high. We're doing great. We're back. But if you go offshore far enough, you still see the remnants of this disaster. What's your take? Exactly. You know, it, it, it never ceases to amaze me when we see the federal government and we saw it during the Obama years. This is not something new. Well, we the, saw it with Bush. Yeah, we saw it with Clinton. We that, see it with Obama. That we come through this massive disaster and we learn nothing from it. We're talking about 78 million additional acres that are up for lease right now. And who put them up for lease? The Trump administration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is uh, Ryan Zinke, yeah. uh, Department of the Interior. Yeah. But in the media known as Stinky. Yeah. I mean, that's. It, w- <laughs> what's even dumber about this? <laughs> not my words. Yeah. That's, that's but a, but they, yeah. they're trying to make it to where it's not necessarily the deep water, which was what Deepwater Horizon was. No, no, no. These are closer inland because yeah. they think for some reason that's safer. Now, could you imagine the if beach. we had the BP oil spill, but. It was you know, 10 miles beach. out yeah. from shore. Th- this whole area would still be covered in oil, but they think it's smarter because it's not as deep. Yeah, their argument is we have less risk if is the, the shallower we go. But if you've ever been to Pensacola or ever been to resort beach area and you understand that you can drive a couple of miles and see these oil derricks out there, yeah. you understand what the risk really is. It puts this community under huge risk. Tourism is the only way that we have to survive in this community. And there's a lot of communities around the country. Typically what right. you'll see is you'll see these beach communities also that you'll see military involved. You know, there'll be a military bases. They typically like to operate out of an area like this and resorts. You take the resort part of it away and it's Katie bar the door. Sad part is this environmental lawsuit, they're going to lose. They always lose, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, I, I agree. It's a very tough road. Thank you for bringing it though. I mean, you yeah, know, you got to try. I'm Mike Paventonio with Farron Cousins. You're watching Ring of Fire.